it's Russian Boy 70 Street, and welcome to episode 11 of Russian Minecraft. So I've done lots and lots of changes from the last episode, and the first of them, and as I, I attached the tube for the mobs for the animal farm spawner. I haven't done it yet, but I've done the tube. So, okay, the way it actually works is that you use those two pistons here, and okay, when they're activated, the mobs will die here. And when I deactivate them, they will just drop all the loot into the water here, and it will flow to me. And then I just close it again. Uh, so yeah, it works just like that. And the next thing is the my storage room. I really changed it a lot. So okay, let me explain you how it works. So for example, you see those cobblestones here. So and they lead to cobblestone chests so you see those chests are full of cobblestone and you see for example those iron blocks here they lead to iron or for example those golden blocks here they lead to gold and diamond and whatever yeah all the good stuff and sand leads to obviously leads to sand and okay furnaces uh, well since like furnaces are related to coal they will obviously lead to coal and you know, for example, uh, if it's glass and one more block, for, so it's like glass and sandstone. It means there are glass and sandstone and ah, oh, God, I can't talk. And sandstone inside. So just like that. So yeah, and see those wooden planks. They lead to wood, obviously. So yeah, and it's lit up pretty well. See all the rest on here, and those are empty yet. So that's pretty much it. And here we go with some torches. And it's really lit up well. And got a lava entrance here, which I really like. <coughs> so, show, 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 show. okay, one more thing is there is a uh, way to the top now. It's a piston elevator, which actually I got from ISO. It's his design, I guess. Well, I saw it on ISO's channel, so I suggest it's his design. So, shall we? See? So, let's see how it works, shall we? So yeah, it works really easily. It's the speed is five blocks per per, block, per second, and yeah, so it's pretty easy. I haven't carried the rest stone uh, parts yet. So yeah, and it's actually the way you go down. So you just stab on hashes whenever you whenever wherever you want, and just press the lever, and you fall. Oh, I should have adjusted to like a little bit lower, but yeah. So so yep, that's pretty much it for the new stuff. And today we will be doing some, we will be making a mob farm. So let me get up again, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So I am back, and I've done a little setup here. It's actually really easy. So as you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks from the drop here, and this because the water can flow only only eight blocks. <coughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, and the same thing on the other side. So yeah, and now what you want to do is to, well, to continue this platform like all the way there, eight blocks from this wall here. So let me count with ya. So one, uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, sweet. And now we just go the other side like that. <coughs> And while building this, I, I, I actually wanted to tell you a story which happened to me like a few weeks ago. Alright, so and I'm, so I met this girl at the bar. I don't really remember her name, but it doesn't really fucking matter. Oh, because she was a fucking bitch. But yeah. So. Uh, alright, alright. And here we go. So I met her at the bar, like kind of a lounge bar, kind of some shit like that. And she looked pretty decent. She was like, I guess, like um, eight out of ten, sort of something, you know. But she was kind, of, she was pretty hot. So I started talking to her, and well, like after thirty seconds or like one minute into the talk, she she offered me her number. So yeah, I took it, and then like we arranged a meeting like a few days later, and we went to the what was it? It was a restaurant, yeah. Like a cafe, more of a cafe, yeah, not a restaurant. So, yeah, when we met, yeah, she was looking hot and all that stuff. So, we were talking, you know, 
she got a little bit all like that touchy feely on her table. You know, she looked quite horny, <laughs> to be honest. So, and you know, since I'm a Christian, I wear like uh, a little, a little cross on my neck. You know, like all Christians do. Uh, eight or one more layer. So yeah. So we are we are having like a nice a nice conversation about different stuff, and yeah. And once like I don't know how to, how exactly did it happen, but I kind of like bent over, and my cross like, so it, it was it became visible. It just like came from um, kind of like I always wear like I wear I always wear it under my shirt. So yeah, I kind of like bent over, and so it fell off. <coughs> So, 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 let me remember. Uh, I got a terrible memory. I've got a terrible memory, man. All right. So, so yeah, and <laughs> okay. The same second as she saw my cross, she was like, "Yo, what the fuck? Are you Christian, man?" I was like, "Yeah, so fucking what?" And then she started reading me like. Oh, okay, wait, how many blocks? So I yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So yeah, she was like, "Yo, are you Christian? What the fuck, man?" So I'm like, "Yeah, so fucking what, you bitch?" And then she was like, "Okay." So she was like, "Yo, there is no fucking God, you you fucking bastard." You like? So she started. Reading, she ah oh, fuck. She started telling me all the crap like, and trying to prove me wrong, trying to change my mind. She was like. There is no God. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? So I was like, oh, fuck this bitch. Like, she was so fucking annoying. Like, you know, damn. Like, we, we had, like, in the beginning, we had, like, a nice conversation. But then, like, as soon as she saw my fucking cross, she was, like, all hyped up. And she was, like, she was going mad, man. For fuck's sake. So, yeah, I was like, fuck that bitch. I ran out of a cafe. Oh, God damn it. I ran out of a cafe. I was like, Yo, fuck you! Don't fucking call me again, you stupid bitch. And shit like that. So yeah. So that was like, like one of my bor <laughs> one of my worst dates ever. And yeah, I, I I never called that bitch again. So yeah, that was like one crazy ass bitch. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much it for my story. Quite a short story, but yeah, that was fucking crazy, man. I'm telling you. No, 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 no. All right, and this animal farm design is actually it's kind of like I combined ESOs and Doc M seventy sevens mob mob farm design, and it's kind of my own. But I mix those two designs, and it works pretty much. It, it works quite good with me. The only thing that I changed from um, from Doc M seventy sevens design is I actually change the waterways because you know they're easier to understand they are they're just easier overall so yeah but the, like the spawning pads are actually his design because he throws like I know he has diamond spawning pads but I don't really like them and they take more space without giving you more spawnable spaces so yeah so now as you're done just you build a couple stone wall around this just la -la 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 -la. Uh yeah. Oh, leg, 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 leg. Okay, and uh, fuck. And may maybe you you already heard that the beta 1.8 pre-release, second pre-release is being released. So you guys, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can try it out yourself. Lots of bugs were fixed since the last one. Since the last, since the. Oh. Since the for fuck's sake, ah, since the first release, so yeah. So now you just want to make sure that it's eight blocks from the wall. So let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. And the other side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do, 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 do. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And and and, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so now we're good. 
And now the hardest part of the whole thing is to get yourself a fucking grass block. So now I will circle around searching for a grass block and then I will just put the like a line all the way until here so it will spread. So when I'll put the line here, I'll be back here. Now let me go and search for the gra for the glass block. And I'll be back in a few minutes. All right guys, so the grass has finally spread and we're ready to build our spawning pads. So each spawning pad <coughs> each spawning pad is going to be 7 by 6. So here we go. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 1 two three four five six and you can see it ends right at the corner here and now let's just join this uh -huh. and now let's just fill them in Alright, so hopefully you've got his that design and I'll be back when I build three more of those. See you there.